Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a piece of garage band music using sound fonts. And it's going to sound something like this. So we're going to need two things in order to get sound fonts to play in garage band. The first will be a player of sound fonts and the second will actually be a sound font. Um, you can use the AU sampler within GarageBand, but I think that that is a bit of a pain because you can't audition the sounds as you go along. So I'd recommend getting a free plugin like this one here called Svorzando and it's made by Plogue, if that's how you pronounce that. I will link it down in the description. Um, and just download this from the page. So download for free and follow the steps. And then what I've done is downloaded this Sonic the Hedgehog 123 sound font from musicartifacts.com. But download whatever sound font you want, it will work all the same. I will link this also in the description. Okay, so once you've done that and you've installed Svorzando, you will also have the file Sonic 123 sound font. Make sure you unzip that just so you've got the sound font uh, available to load up. So what I just discovered there is that you cannot load the sound font through GarageBand. So what we have to do is go into Svorzando itself. So this will be installed as an app and you can load it up. And here you can go and import your sound font that you downloaded so in this case you can go to a folder and you could just drag this in from here so i won't do this because i've already done it but just drag that into sforzando if you do this in garage band it will just kind of an error message for some reason so you have to do it via this and then load it within garage band afterwards and then you'll be asked to convert it and then just save it somewhere wherever you're going to save your sound fonts in the future, whatever fold you want. Uh, and once we've done that, we can quit out of the standalone version of Sforzando, go back into GarageBand. Uh, if you've already got GarageBand open, make sure you shut it down and restart it so it scans your plugins. And uh, now in this drop down list here, so let's just do this from scratch. So you might not have this button on. This button up here gives you all the controls to your instrument. So when you start a blank page, it will look like this. Make sure you've got an instrument track and then go down to here and click on this little arrow here to load up your plugins. And if you're on the default patch, this classic electric piano, then you'll have e-piano there. And we're gonna replace that with the Sforzando plugin. And this is a shortcut here. I've so you could you can click here in the future, but when you're doing it the first time, you have to go into Plogue Arc Technologies and click on Sforzando. And that will load up the plugin. And now you'll have this little folder called converted, and this is where you will have all your sounds you've imported. So let's just go and load up a drum kit here and here make sure it's sounding. A little bit of popping there on this patch but so I just tried out that sound font and it was a bit broken so I decided to get another one which I will also link in the description and uh, let's load up the plugin again and have a look what we've got so now we have got this new one here so we've added this the absolute Sega FM sound font and I've just gone and loaded up this hydro city drums so let's have a listen to this Sounds okay, so let's just lay this down and see what it sounds like. Quite hard to play with latency, but hopefully quantize it. So hit the Q button, let's see if that's in time. Yep, okay, let's speed that up a little bit. We'll call that drums. Okay, and now let's make a new one, a new instrument. Then we can go here and we can click now in the shortcut menu down to Sforzando and then load up the next one. So let's have, let's try and find a bass. Um, okay, what have we got here? Sonic bass. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, it does sound very uh, sonic y. Okay, that will do. Quantize that again. Good, and I think we're going to need to 
add some hi-hats to those drums there to give it a little bit more movement. So I'll do this on a separate Zando track and let's have a listen to some of these. So as you can hear, they are definitely from the proper uh, games. So let's have a listen now to this. Oh, we've got some... Uh, Ooh, interesting. <laughs> okay, maybe we won't do that, but uh, yeah, you got the idea. Why not have a little bit of a vocal ending? <laughs> Let's turn it down a little bit. Maybe pan it off a little bit to the left. Just get it out of the way to centre the mix. Cool. Okay. Uh, and now let's go and add maybe a... Now this um, previous sound font does work fine with all the other sounds, so we could try one out of here. Square, okay. Okay, a little intro piece there. So let's add some reverb to this sound here. Now these are your reverb settings and you can load up a concert hall, cathedral, jazz club. Let's just click on one and then this send level will send it to your reverb. So let's have a listen to it. And now we can put... Try maybe cathedral. Really puts in the back of the mix. Okay. Let's just have that as our intro. And what I'm going to do now is let's maybe harmonize this, shall we? So let's just double that up with a new instrument. Record. Okay. I think I might have made one of those notes too quiet. So let's have a listen. that one there so you can see that the velocity is far too low on that one comparatively to everything else and if you just click on the note and drag the velocity up that will now be right volume cool all right then so now let's go and make a little versary and we will copy and paste that but we will take this part out here So let's go and put something down that's going to give it some chords. I know everything here says um, electric piano. So let me just rename that and come back to you. Okay, so that's a little bit neater. So we've got now the drums, the bass, the hats, and then we've got the synth. And now we're going to add some sort of pad or something to that. Let's have a listen to see what we've got. Okay, so I found a chime patch I quite like. Let's have a listen to this. But let's record it in. I think I quite like it. Right, that sounds cool. Sounds a little bit uh, retro. And obviously here you can add your own effects to it. So uh, we could just add a master reverb and echo within GarageBand. And we can also add our own plugins here. So if I want that to be a little bit wider, I can go to the sample delay and simply offset the right or left side of it. And if you're listening to this on headphones from speakers, you'll hear that it now sounds left and right rather than straight down the center of the mix. Okay, and I just imagined another little bit there. So let's go and see what we can find. So I just found this lead patch here. Uh, sounds a bit like this, which is okay, just a little bit bit quiet so let's turn it up a little bit and now let's play along the track let's go and put something like that down so we'll just bring it in for the second half here just 
a little melody and at the beginning there, I was just using the pitch bend to bring that first note in. A little bit of a echo there just to give it a bit of movement. Good stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do now is make a new instrument and then we're going to just place that down there so this can come in on something else to give it a bit more variation. We've just found another lead patch here. These are just random patches. Very quiet, so let's turn it up there. And then what we're going to do is knock this up Ooh, another octave at least. Just to give it a bit more energy when it kicks in. Good stuff. Okay, so you can see how we're just layering things together here. And um, yeah, we're not going to make this into a full piece. I think that you get the idea. You can use sound fonts within GarageBand and this full Soundo plugin works well. We did have that little bit of a problem at the beginning with the Sonic 123 sound font and it was specifically the drums. If you're using Logic, use the XS24 and that fixes that problem. And if you're using GarageBand's for Zando, then uh, just try and find good sound fonts that aren't broken, is my advice. If you have any questions, please get in contact. If you'd like more content like this, then uh, please subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Take care.